So you're going to stand right here. And there's very few rules in this, except i got to go a little further. You are not allowed to look at what I'm doing. So you are going to look at the class. Uh, no, no, you're going to go more forward. I know you, you'll look sideways. You'll look sideways. Um, and so today we're just going to give me concrete, clear instructions on how to make a peanut butter and jam sandwich. You've got to start from the beginning. I've got peanut butter, of course, the non-allergenic type that won't kill anybody here today. I've got some jam, and I am going to follow your instructions to the T. I also have a knife here. I do have napkins in case you want me to do it. But what's the one rule? Uh, I have to look this way. You cannot look behind you because I don't want you to see what I'm doing because you have to be able to give me those instructions clearly. Um, there might be some laughter. Don't worry. I'm never going to hurt you. I'm never doing anything that's bad. You're totally safe in this, this case. But I'm going to move back just a tiny bit. Braden, got to look forward. Go forward even more. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust people. I got trust issues. Okay. Ooh, that's very close. Okay. Braden, please give me instructions on how to make a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Uh, you grab the bag of bread and take the twist tie thingy off. Okay. Done? Okay. You put your hand inside and grab two pieces of bread. Okay. Uh, you put them both flat <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Out of the bag. Hey, looking forward. Out of the bag, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you grab the peanut butter. Okay, hey, no, he's doing it, Gershon. Okay. Grab the peanut butter, you unscrew it, and put the lid to the side and put the peanut butter to the ear. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear. That's how you know you can do it. Okay. Uh, you take the knife, scoop a bit of peanut butter out, put the peanut butter down to the table. Oh I'm having trouble. <laughs> put the peanut butter on the table softly, and use the knife with peanut butter to spread it on the bread. I have spread that peanut butter on you, it's not really working for me. That sandwich looks really tasty. Okay. Okay, what next? Uh, you take the knife out of the jar and spread it. It's empty. Okay. Done. Uh, you wipe the knife off so you can put it in the jam. Put it where? So you can put it in the jam jar. So it's okay. Clean. So you take the jar, you put your knife down on the table. Okay. You grab your jar of jam, you take the lid off and put it on the table. Oh, oh, softly. Softly? <laughs> and put the jar on the table softly. Pardon me? And put the jar on the table softly. You grab your knife, you scoop some jam out. <laughs> Stop this dude! Okay. Uh, you scoop some jam out and spread some of it on the bread. Okay. Then you put your knife down carefully on the table and put the bread together. <laughs> okay. That one. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Oh, that, that looks Ladies and gentlemen, I followed your instructions to the team. Uh, we have an excellent peanut butter and jet. Now, some of you would ask me, like, can we eat it when we're done? Can we eat it when we're done? Now, now, bring uh, great job. Is there someone else who thinks, hey, learning from that experience, we can, we can do that? So I'm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, give national drum roll. Drum roll. Start around. Lightly, yeah. Piece of bread out of the jar. Or <laughs> 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 I told him that we should take the thing, y'all. Oh, 
Open the peanut butter. <laughs> Grab in there with your hands. <laughs> and put it on the bread. <laughs> now, take another piece of bread out of the bag. <laughs> Open the jelly jar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's yeah. I'm mean, not. It's not working, buddy. Uh, untwist it like this. It's not working. Untwist it. Okay. Grab it in there with your hand. <laughs> Out and chuck it on the other piece of bread. Chuck it? No. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. Put the bread together. Mine was better than this. And eat it. <laughs> this is what he's doing to them. Magnificent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can we give now a round of applause? <laughs> what is it? Now he's just holding yeah. everything in his hands the entire time. And it's not put anything down. This is very difficult. <laughs> There's a hole in the lid, it is I just everywhere now. Yeah. It's ridiculous. How dare you do it? I did, never had a student turn it around on me a little bit. <laughs> stick it in, stick your hand in there. There we go. Uh, who wants who wants it? Any? No one want the sandwich? No one. Um, oh dear. Um, there we go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, good friends, make sure that friends give great instructions. Uh, today uh, did a great job. Of course, there was some maybe some nuances and details that we have to add. Now, in your instruction writing assignment, you should be clear, some, some things go without, without saying, right? So, um, what were some things now that you've seen the demonstration uh, that you would have advised them maybe to do, or what are some things that you would have done? Yeah? Tell you to put things down. Tell you to put things down, so, so make those instructions clear, like I you can put, put, put it down. Yeah, what else? Please. Don't assume they know how to open a thing of bread. Well, when you say open a thing of bread, oh yeah, there you, there you go, get some rage out, right? Um, absolutely, with, with these, twi twist off the cap, maybe so, giving specific detailed instructions. But you guys were like, get the, j I had no idea how we would be able to stab through that. Don't go. stab through um, the lid, maybe. Stab right, right through the lid. Um, so you want to be very, very clear with your right hand, hold on to the, the, the uh, the jam jar, and with your left hand, twist up the top, place the top on the ground. So you want to have enough detailed instructions that the person know, knows exactly what to do. Um, now, did you mean to tell me to put my hands on the yes. hand? Oh, okay, okay. So, I did follow those instructions very quickly. I appreciate that. What else would you, we advise them to do? Well, you could have said, like, put the bread uh, on, or put the jam on the bread even. Put the jam on the bread evenly. That meant I could have just spread the jam jar on there. Usually people are like, oh, yeah. roll the peanut butter on the bread. And I'm like, okay, done, right, awesome. Um, so it's, it's about specificity of language, um, correct order. The other thing that, that often instructions will include, if they're not just oral or they're not just written, is what? Pictures. Pictures, and pictures help a lot. Like when I get like furniture to put together, I, it is like from Ikea or whatever, sometimes it's written clearly in like Chinese and translated to English. I put together a barbecue, I'm surprised the thing's even together because I, I didn't understand it. Nowadays you can actually scan QR codes and go to videos for how to do something, but like Lego. Can you imagine if somebody told you to put Lego together and it was only written instructions? I it, that. It, you, that would be fun. That would be that impossible. Would be fun. Yeah. I only know how to put it together. It take, who likes the images in Lego though? Who are my image people? <laughs>